try to get us a French drain down here. Get us some stuff built up here. Put some pressure back in the wall. This is a shithole back here. We're finally finishing up. We, we never got... We put the mill in. We kind of ran out of budget. And had to leave it. We're going to block all this in, fill all this in, over that tunnel and port and stuff, all that stuff's getting done today. Well, I wanted to get on here and showcase the end here. It barely fit in here, I'm telling you. We got to bring gravel in, we're going to go gravel down, turn the bucket around the den den and strip gravel and set it up here. When we get down to that, we're going to level the gravel out and we're going to put some, uh, concrete bales in here and it makes it where we can form this in to where it's kind of step down so the wall can't push out is what the idea is. That's what the idea is. Alright, here's the deal. Basically, uh, The way, I don't know how to explain it. I've been drinking a little bit. Got that bushing light in me. Uh, <clears throat> years ago, Big Daddy did expansion at the sawmill. And uh, it, the expansion, when you expand the sawmill, it gets, uh, you get financially uh, strapped pretty quick. So, what happened is he got his infrastructure down. He's got his mill put in. And then the, uh, we're on a hillside, which is good in a sawmill because you got fall. You know, we don't got the fall that we'd like to have, but we got fall, they, you call it fall for scrap, basically, you know. As you're processing logs, you cut your scrap, drop, gravity takes over, you got your fall. Any words, we got, we got everything set up kind of the way we, want it but there's a few things that's just like uh, oh kind of like a, I don't know it's kind of problems the back side of this mill what you're looking at is that white pipe right there is uh, basically coming out right behind the resaw bit the belt you're seeing is coming straight out from the bandsaw that's bandsaw dust you're seeing. Now there's a few things that's supposed to uh, come onto this band, the uh, concave belt coming out of the bandsaw that's not doing it because of that's towards the end of the project and usually the money starts running at the end and uh, that gets uh, finagled, you know what I mean? So, basically, the concave tunnel, what you're seeing right here, up under, up over top of the belt, and uh, the concrete slab up there, which is a slab behind the uh, edge or back there in the back of the building, it just kind of got, you know, it just kind of got felt sucking behind tent, so to speak. So what we're doing now is we got them in it, but. We're gonna pull all this out and get her. We're gonna fill in there and pour that pad full. We got some. Robin's got some cool buddies and uh, that's gonna come in and pour that. But us and Big Daddy, we gotta come up with another plan that we're also adding to the pour. That's gonna be more of a foundation footer sort of deal to hold the, the sawmill up. But there's gonna be some more modifications on the scrap side of this mill. Uh, but I'm kind of skipping around. Uh, the con take your bath. Go get ready to go guineas. Boy, well, go get ready to go guineas. Oh, 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 I'm pretty, you know, pretty hard to do today. So anyways, what we're trying to do is I'm trying to go down beside the concrete that's already established to the left of my bucket in this bitch. Uh, to the left of my bucket is a good concrete pad and you see a little bit of stone on the left side of the bucket. In the right side of the bucket, I'm in clay. So we're basically getting out of this clay 
gonna put some gravel down and start putting some the, the back wall back there that you're looking at below that white pipe is basically the shithole of the mill it basically was where big daddy stopped he got his funding ran out and it was time to go back to the woods and start getting some timber again to feed the company and he had to kind of let it go so that's why it looks so crappy back here a lot of mills and sawdust pile is a crap hole of the mill because that's kind of where your money runs out so but what we're doing is we got a second win look how that bucket i love this dindin i'm sorry i love the dindin a bunch look, look how smart and soft yet strong the hydraulics are you know it's it's responsive smooth it's just everything a guy can want in dindin but basically we're going to get this scraped out we're gonna put gravel in we're gonna put gravel up there now the gravel up He's there just begging to be tormented well today. here we are putting the gravel in i'm kind of setting the camera up and uh stevie in uh guinea is shoveling gravel in i put the bucket on the din din bass backwards and i'm i'm picking it up with the bucket scooping it up there and, and, and i'm uh and we're filling that all in now when the concrete people come in Underneath the pipe, at that steel level, is where they're going to put the, uh... Oh, That's where they're going to put the uh, footer in. So our job is to shovel gravel up in there and get all the gravel up in there they could possibly need. And then we're going to come back down below where the rock's all piled in front of the dindin bucket. And we're going to form up our little footer wall doodad that's going to hold the sawmill up on the hillside. And we got to cut out a rough opening about above where about Stevie's standing for the uh, door, outside door. Because the other outside door behind Guinea basically opens up to a control panel. So it's basically useless. So we'll eventually have to pull that door out and put uh, siding up. Well, I had to put the siding up, and she got me doing my thing here and uh, putting some gravel in for me. And that is number five, which we should be using number sevens because they screw me. Okay, I'm back on here. I had to do a little business. But uh, so basically, we're putting the gravel in. Uh, I don't know where I'm at. We're going to gravel around that pipe uh, and try to get that pipe in concrete. And they're going to put basically footer all the way up to about Guinea's waist. You can see the concrete pad behind Guinea up there. And uh, we're gonna try to get it to where we can take a vibrator and vibrate concrete up underneath the pad behind Guinea. So we're gonna leave about eight inches, probably, between that pad. Oh, I'm sorry. I like this when I make a bitches. So anyhow, we're gonna get that in there and uh, then me and Pooh's gonna work down the bottom down there and get the uh, our own hillbilly made footer wall in and then all the stuff you're seeing on that wall i'm scooping some gravel off the concrete down there but all you're gonna see you ain't gonna see nothing of that wall that's up there that rough wall that's up there because it's gonna be pretty much encased in concrete and uh that starts us off to head out that hillside to the right of the screen on through that yuck that you're seeing over there and what we'll be doing is over time it's a project we'll have to come back to but over time we'll end up getting a barn cleaner out of there uh that's over there uh in the next part of this video uh part two come back in and check it out uh, and you'll see the barn cleaner over there. and we're going to get the barn cleaner about where me and stevie's butt is over there you're going to see where stevie is we're going to get the barn cleaner from the mill which takes the sawdust from the edger and the head saw and we're going to dump it there on the uh, dust concave and we're going to take out the uh, barn cleaner that comes out and about and uh, gets up there in the air and all that mess and it turns into a maintenance nightmare because you take the dag on barn cleaner you turn it around tight turns like it's on that uh head sprocket on the past barn cleaner and that turns into a piece of junk uh, basically a nice maintenance nightmare so uh, there's a lot of stuff coming together and it's yucky and ugly and I realize that it's probably not good vision material but wanted to cover it nonetheless because this is kind of like a victory to us. 
finally getting this piece of crap back here starting to get it under control. Because here's the thing. That's the type of thing that when you're tight on cash and things ain't going good, it slips through the cracks. But when you start getting sound and you start getting back into a good groove, what are you doing? Start getting back into a good groove, you can start mending them, uh, them little cancers that's sucking on you, you know. Getting a load of gravel in there to throw at it, you know, which the type of thing it don't show up real quick in the in the in the profit margin. You know what I mean? But someday down the road will show up as a long term investment, not a short term. But anyways, thanks everybody. Leave me likes and comments. Get back yada yada and check in part two, please. Come check out part two, it gets better.